It is not like candles where I just go from failure to failure to failure. <laughs> These are awesome. Hey guys, thanks for stepping by my channel today. My name's Tammy and I'm making car diffusers. Buckle up guys, we're going for a ride. I love these things. I am just all in on them. <laughs> Maybe because they're pretty much a no brainer and easy and everyone I've tested has been good. I mean, just good. That's all I can say. It's awesome. <laughs> guys, I wanna have a frank discussion about IFRA. When I first started making the car diffusers, I just figured any old fragrance would work. It wouldn't really matter. It's not like I'm washing with it or anything like that. And I really just felt like I didn't really have to pay attention to it. And I'm so glad that one of you brought to my attention that I need to look at the IFRA. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I need to look at this. Then this week I saw a Facebook post in one of the groups that I'm in and somebody had commented that they use 100% fragrance. And they got that information from Wholesale Supplies Plus on one of the answers that you can use 100% fragrance. I want to clarify with you guys what we need to do with reed diffusers, whether it's the reed diffuser in the bottle with the little reed sticking out or whether it's a car diffuser. Same thing, we need to go by 10A on the IFRA uh, percentages or the document that you get from your suppliers. If you don't have access to a IFRA document, don't buy from that supplier. That's my take. If they don't get, have it on their website, I don't buy from them. And I'm not gonna email them either. If I have to take my time to email a supplier, I'm not gonna buy from them. If you wanna email and wait around for it, that's on you. <laughs> I was confused. It's like, how is this less percentage than a room spray? It seemed like this is not that much different than a room spray. And a room spray will be 70% or whatever crazy, where this would be no, zero or two or 10 or what have you. I reached out to Candle Science, and I just think Candle Science is such a great uh, resource for us when we have questions about these things. They are really, really good about bringing back to us some solid information. I printed their email out, but basically what it says is if your scent is contained and is not refillable, and there is no skin contact, then the sky's the limit for you. If we're looking at any chance of skin contact, then we have to go by 10A, okay? There is definitely chances of skin contact. There is the, the, the stopper that they take out. Fragrance and reed diffuser base, it, that's gonna get on their fingers. If you wanna offer a refill for this, that's going to have skin contact. There's going to be that chance. That's why fragrance oils will have a separate, much lower category for reed diffusers. It's all in the skin contact, guys. I want us to be cautious on what we're doing and know what we're doing. We are in the States quite fortunate that we don't have a ton of regulations brought down on us. I don't want that to change, guys. If we're not being safe, that will change for us. So let's be safe and let's follow these instruct uh, these guidelines that they give us. It's to keep us safe. It's to keep our customers safe. And it protects us from any sort of litigation if we can say, well, we're following IFR guidelines. Uh, so that's my little rant on that. But I was kind of in the same boat I didn't realize that there was a problem with going higher. I will say it's hard to find uh, fragrance oils that are uh, 10A, you know, over 25%. It's hard to find them. I would say probably out of all the fragrance oils I have, I would say 75 to 80% are not something I can use in my car diffusers or reed diffusers. So when I find one, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> That's long enough for this. I know I'm kind of harping on this a little bit, but I do feel like it's just so, so important for us to be following these guidelines uh, to protect 
not only ourselves, our customers, but our industry. It's just not worth it, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up now, let you see the making of, and then I have an update after you watch a little bit of my making. I am gonna start with sea minerals. I love sea minerals from Candle Science. This is diffuser um, at 39%. So I have a little, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read that at all. I have a little label that I have created that goes on every bottle that I purchase. And it just talks about soap notes. It'll, it'll let me know exactly what I'm safe to use, whether there's vanillin in it or anything like that. But the diffuser is 37% and the room sprays are 62. <laughs> so I am gonna stick with 25% because I just think that's enough. I'm gonna put my little beaker on my little jewelry scale. And I have a little cheat sheet here that 25% to make five, I'm gonna put 21 grams of my diffuser base in my beaker. And then I'm gonna start with sea minerals again and I'm gonna put seven grams of my sea minerals in here. All right, and I'm gonna stir it up. It's so easy. And there's really not a lot to it. Here is my car fresher. I just get these on Amazon. I will try to link these down below. And they have a little plastic stopper in here. I need to get a pair of scissors. And I have some glitters that I have out here. And I also have some glitter. Let me go grab those real quick. I've not done this before, guys. But I'm going to see what happens if I try to put some of this glitter in here. And I have no idea how this is going to work. I don't want a ton. All right, so I'm gonna put five grams, I think. 15, 20, yeah, five grams. Okay. And I think that's really pretty. It just gives it a very slight glitter this gives me the sea minerals vibe. It's kind of a purple instead of a blue. I'd probably rather have blue, but I kind of like it. And it's just a little, it's just a little something extra. So I'm gonna do that four more times. The glitter does tend to settle maybe a little bit, but hopefully with the shaking of the car or somebody wanting to, you know, tip it a little bit, that will just get that going without a problem. First five is done. So I am going to clean this off and go on to my next scent. All right, we are moving right along. I went ahead and got my next uh, batch solution ready. This one is Citrus Sunshine from Candle Science. Really, really enjoy this scent so much. And because it is summery, we are gonna be adding some gold glitter. I don't think every single one needs glitter, but you know, if you can put a little glitter in your life, I say why not? And now we fill them. New battery. <laughs> so guys, let me just show you or, or tell you because I don't want to move anything. I made four so far. I made uh, Irish Spring from the Flaming Candle, and I didn't add any glitter to that. I made Cedar Leaf and Lavender. This is also from the Flaming Candle, no glitter. Now I wanna do Lemongrass and Lime, and I just wanted to show this to you guys that this is rated at 16.48% for diffusers. I think I moved my light and I think I moved it too far back now. It's kind of shadowy, I'm sorry. 
So 16.48, I had to go over to my Soapmaker 3 software because I don't know how to figure the percentages and it told me that I need 23.39 of my diffuser base and I need 4.61 of my lemongrass and lime. I'm hoping that a lower percentage rate won't affect it too much as far as how good this is. And I'm gonna put every drop that I can in here. I have extremely sharp scissors here. This may be the first time I've ever used them. <laughs> I buy these things and I just don't, I don't know why I buy them. I have a really good reason when I actually make the purchase, but. And I do think I want a little something in here. I brought down or brought up some blue cornflowers just because I wanted to use them. And I'm just taking the smallest amount. I should go grab my light. Hang on, I will. I just feel like it's washed out, so I don't know. But I'm gonna just take a few little, nothing crazy. I've just seen other, makers do that and I just think it's sweet. Okay, I'll see what that looks like. If I want to add more, I will. I'm going to lift it up. Hang on. That's actually cute. I think I will maybe just add a couple more extra. There you go. Can you see? Sorry. My lighting in this room, I'm still working on it. After all this time. Sweet. The flowers are not the easiest things in the world to get in these little jars. I will say that. They're kind of a pain. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm done. So this is five different scents to start with. And put these on my tray here. So I am going to go work on creating the labels and the how-to cards and different things like that and I will bring you back when I have those done and maybe I will have some update on how they're doing. A little bit of an update. I ran a special on my website that any order over $25 got a free car diffuser. And this was just to promote this new item that I have. I've had quite a successful month of orders and thankfully I was able to give away all of those car diffusers. Last night I had to make up some more of the car diffusers because I had a couple more orders that came in. I had to put a car diffuser in there. So I made the Citrus Sunshine and I made Irish Rains as a restock last night. I am gonna restock the sea minerals tonight. And I felt like I needed to do a few different class of scent. So I want to be a little bit more well-rounded. I really wish I could do Moonflower Nectar. It's one of my best-selling room sprays, but can't do it. What I decided to do is I felt like I wanted a vanilla and I found that Micah's and More Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla is reed diffuser up to 98 so i could i'm not going to go above 25 guys but this is one of the very few vanillas that i actually like so i'm going to test this and then i thought i would do mahogany teakwood from the flaming candle because i think i just need a really solid like manly scent this isn't really manly because most women I know love mahogany teakwood. So it's not really manly, but it's certainly got that, like, it's just not girly. It's just awesome, but it's not girly. So I felt like I needed something like that. I think I was gonna do a clean cotton as well. Cutting these out by hand is a pain. And then unsticky, undoing the sticky, the backing is even more of a pain. So I did go on to online labels and I bought the label size I need for these bottles. This is 0.75 inches times one inch and they fit perfectly. I just bought 25 sheets of it for now. I did go through four sheets doing my alignment 
So if you're interested in how to do the alignment, I do have a video on online labels and how to take Canva and take those over to an online label like Maestro labels. I like designing in Canva. I don't like designing in Maestro. So I take everything over, but I can show you how I did that. If you're interested, I can do a video on how I did this. It's so much easier just to pull them off and stick them on guys. Sometimes it's worth the money. Next update, these little bottles I got from Amazon, I am going through them like there's no tomorrow. I think I bought four or five boxes of 20 and I'm down to one and a half box left. I haven't even sold my first one. <laughs> I haven't even sold a one yet. No, I did. I did sell one and give one away to a, a customer that came over yesterday. She actually bought one. Uh, so I sold one and I'm down to a box and a half. <laughs> Here's the thing. One of the things that I don't like about these is the wood seems to be a bit cheap and the grooves on the inside doesn't always match up to the grooves of the bottle. And so you really have to kind of fight the grooves on some of them and you almost have to like really just force it. The other thing I didn't like was the glitter in the string. I think that's completely unnecessary and my husband really didn't like it. <laughs> and even me, I love glitter, but I just, I don't, I think that cheapens it, honestly. So I found from Northwood Distributing some really pretty bottles. Check these out. I haven't even opened them yet. I opened the box. but there is no glitter on the string. It just feels good. It actually screws on in a way that makes you feel secure. I have had this bottle fall out of the mirror because it wasn't screwed on all the way in our car, my husband. He got this stuff all over him. Talk about the skin, skin thing. He got it all over his hands and his pants because it fell and it just kind of flew everywhere. Now they are more expensive. When I bought them, they were on sale and I bought 50, I think. I will link that down below. So I'm not gonna air this for a couple more weeks because I'm gonna finish my tests and I'm going to take these to my craft show. I want to just kind of share with you guys how we did on the car diffusers if they sold or not. And before I go out and buy hundreds of these bottles, I wanna make sure this is something that's actually gonna sell. <laughs> Guys, these car diffusers are selling like hotcakes. Can I just say, my first show, I, I was gonna look and see how many I actually sold, but I was making more of certain scents to bring back the next week because I was selling them so well. They really, really sold quite well. So I'm so pleased to have these to offer my customers now. I actually had twice people come back the next day to buy more. So that really made me feel good too. <laughs> I'm going to let you know my final thoughts on the bottles. These are the bottles I thought I would like the best. They are a little bit higher end in their appearance. A couple things I don't like about this bottle. So if you're if you're wanting to order this, be prepared. The tops rarely line up. Like this one's lining up fairly closely, but most of the tops are cockeyed. So they don't fit they don't fit the square. If that makes sense. They're kind of cockeyed on the I don't really like that. <laughs> I know that may be nitpicky, but I want the top to fit like the top should and not be off, off the, the plane of the sides. The other thing is that their website actually recommends customers to take this out, wet the wood, put the stopper back in and then keep it stopped, which seems to me like an awful lot of trouble. And it also seems like a lot of, you know, trying to get that stopper in and out and getting your hands all gunky every time you want to smell it. I think I understand why they're saying that. And that is because when you tip this bottle, within half a second, it's leaking out of the holes. The holes 
right here are, are quite big where the string comes in. And there is no time this fluid is coming out of the hole. It's almost like it's not really saturating the top of the wood like the other diffusers. It's just getting on the string and it's leaking. I mean like this and it's leaking. You have to be so careful with it. For that reason, I am not going to stick with these prettier, higher end looking bottles. They're just more trouble than they're worth, I think. I'm sorry. Now I asked my husband if he felt like maybe this scent is stronger the way the bottle is made. At first he said no, he didn't see any difference between the two bottles as far as scent goes because he's testing these, not me. He came back a couple days later and he said, you know, maybe just a little bit stronger with these bottles as opposed to the other. That is not worth me fighting and having customers have this liquid all over them. So I went back to my round bottles. I'm not crazy about the glitter. It's like, why? It just, why? <laughs> I like the functionality of these cheaper bottles that I get on Amazon. I did try to find these bottles from a real supplier and not just like an Amazon thing. And the only thing I could find was Wholesale Supplies Plus. I was not impressed with the looks or the reviews of that bottle. And they're wanting me to put like 100% essential oils in there. And I'm thinking, is this not the same thing? <laughs> there was just something about those bottles that I was not sold on just by reading into them a little bit. So I'm back on Amazon and I bought a hundred of these. If you are interested in bringing out car diffusers, I would recommend you do it. They are a good seller for me. And I am even going to be purchasing some glass amber four ounce jars and pre-mixing my base and my fragrance so that when I run out, all I have to do is grab my little bottle, grab a little pipette and fill up a bunch of bottles and I'm good. I'm not mixing a bunch. It's all done ahead of time. I think that's gonna be a lot easier on me and a lot more streamlined. I'm getting very hoarse, sorry guys. I've been talking and trying to do all these intros and outros for an hour <laughs> I have a list of intros and outros that I have to tape. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember everything I'm supposed to do and it's not working. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I am hopefully going to be able to piece together a video for you. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.